Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss the topic Artificial Intelligence. So I will discuss lots more about this topic and its application. So go to the computer screen. Today I will discuss the topic Artificial Intelligence. Okay. So at first we should know what is Artificial Intelligence, right? In today's world, technology is growing very fast and we are getting in touch with different new technologies day by day, right? Here, one of the booming technologies of computer science is artificial intelligence, also known as AI, which is ready to create a new revolution in the world by making intelligent machines, right? The AI is now all around us. It is currently working with a variety of subfields ranging from general to specific such as self-driving cars, playing chess, proving theorems, playing music, painting, etc. AI is one of the fascinating and universal fields of computer science which has a great scope in future. AI holds a tendency to cause a machine to work as a human okay ai is composed of two words one is artificial and another is intelligence where artificial defines man made and intelligence defines thinking power hence ai means a man made thinking power so we can define ai as it is a branch of computer science by which we can create intelligent machines which can behave like a human, think like humans and able to make decisions, right? Artificial intelligence exists when a machine can have human-based skills such as learning, reasoning and solving problems, right? With AI, we do not need to pre-program a machine to do some work. Despite that you can create a machine with programmed algorithms which can work with own intelligence. Okay. And that is awesomeness of AI. It is believed that AI is not a new technology and some people says that as per Greek myth there were mechanical men in early days which can work and behave like humans. Okay. Now I talk about why artificial intelligence. We should know that what is the importance of AI and why should we learn it following at the some main reasons to learn about AI and there with the help of AI we can create such software or devices which can solve real world problems very easily and with accuracy such as health issues, marketing, traffic issues etc. With the help of AI, we can create your personal virtual assistant such as Cortana, Google Assistant, Siri, etc. With the help of AI, we can build such robots which can work in an environment where survival of humans can be at risk. Okay, AI opens a path for other new technologies, new devices and new opportunities. Okay. Now I talk about goals of AI following at the main goals of AI and the points like replicate human intelligence, solve knowledge intensive tasks and intelligent connection of perception and action, building a machine which can perform tasks that requires human intelligence such as proving a theorem, playing chess, plan some surgical operation driving a car in traffic, creating some system which can exhibit intelligent behavior, learn new things by itself, demonstrate, explain and can advise to its user, right? Now we talk about what comprises to artificial intelligence. AI is not just a part of computer science even it is so vast and requires lot of other factors which can contribute to it. 
to create the ai first we should know that how intelligence is composed so the intelligence is an intangible part of our brain which is a combination of reasoning learning problem solving perception language understanding etc to achieve the ever factors for a machine or software artificial intelligence requires the following disciplines like mathematics biology psychology sociology statistics computer science neuron study right now we talk about some history of artificial intelligence in the year 1955 alan newell and harvard a simon created the first artificial intelligence program which was named as logic theorist this program had proved 38 out of 52 mathematical theorems and find new and more elegant proofs for some theorems right in the year 1956 the word artificial intelligence first adopted by american computer scientist john magarthy at the dartmouth conference for the first time ai coined as an academic field now ai has developed to a remarkable level the concept of deep learning big data and data science are now trending like a boom nowadays companies like google facebook ibm and amazon are working with ai and creating amazing devices the future of ai is inspiring and will come with high intelligence right now we talk about types of artificial intelligence ai can be divided in various types there are mainly two types of main categorization which are based on capabilities and based on functionality of ai following is the flow diagram which explain the type of ai so basically artificial intelligence can be divided into two types one is your type 1 and that is type 2 type 1 can be sub branches like narrow ai general ai strong ai where type 2 are branches as four one is your reactive machines limited memory theory of mind and self awareness right artificial intelligence can be divided into three sub fields one is your artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning right now we talk about why is ai booming now now it is the artificial intelligent testing tutorial let's learn why ai is blooming now let's understand by the below diagram since an early flash of optimism in 1950s smaller subsets of artificial intelligence first machine learning then deep learning a subset of machine learning have created ever larger disruption okay so artificial intelligence early artificial intelligence starts excitement right machine learning machine learning begins to flourish deep learning deep learning breakthroughs drive ai boom so in that way ai is booming okay now i talk about application of ai ai has various applications in today's society it is becoming essential for today's time because it can solve complex problems with an efficient way in multiple industries such as healthcare entertainment finance education etc ai is making our daily life more comfortable and fast so on the following picture there provides some applications of artificial intelligence like astronomy healthcare transport agriculture education e-commerce entertainment robotics automotive social media data security finance gaming right now i talk about the interesting part of ai sofia hansen robotics hansen robotics most advanced human like robot known as sofia personifies our dreams for the future of ai as a unique combination of science engineering and artistry sofia is simultaneously a human crafted science fiction character depicting the future of ai and robotics and a platform for advanced robotics and ai 
research okay in the below we have provide the picture of sophia okay sophia is a social humanoid robot developed by hong kong based company hansen robotics sophia was activated on 14th february 2016 and made her first public appearance at south by southwest festival sxsw in mid march 2016 in austin texas united states okay sophia is conceptually similar to the computer program eliza which was one of the first attempts at simulating a human conversation okay sophia has been covered by media around the globe and has participated in many high profile interviews okay in october 2017 sophia became a saudi arabian citizen the first robot to receive citizenship of any country in november 2017 sophia was named the united nations development programs first ever innovation champion and is the first non human to be given any united nation title okay now we talk about the advantages of ai and the advantages like high accuracy with less error ai machines or systems are prone to less errors and high accuracy as it takes decisions as per pre experience or information next one high speed ai systems can be of very high speed and fast decision making because of that ai systems can beat a chess champion in the chess game next point high reliability ai machines are highly reliable and can perform the same action multiple times with high accuracy next point useful for risky areas ai machines can be helpful in situations such as diffusing a bomb exploring the ocean floor where to employ a human can be risky next one digital assistant ai can be very useful to provide digital assistant to the users such as ai technology is currently used by various e-commerce websites to show the products as per customer requirement and the last point useful as a public utility ai can be very useful for public utilities such as a self driving car which can make our journey safer and hassle free facial recognition for security purpose natural language processing to communicate with the human in human language etc but still some disadvantages of ai also is there every technology has some disadvantages and the same goes for ai being so advantages technology still it has some disadvantages which we need to keep in our mind while creating an ai system and some disadvantages of ai like high cost cannot think out of the box increase dependency on machines no original creativity right i hope that you have understood to this topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye